Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Surya, your favorite sewing friend, and today is another weekend. Hooray! So I have decided to try and embark on a shearing adventure. So I have never sheared, sheared, sheared anything before, uh, but I'm going to try this weekend. And of course, I've chosen a fabric that is probably not right for this project. Being in a lockdown life means that I have to buy all my fabrics online and I, it's not so bad, but, um, you know, going into the store and actually feeling the fabrics and talking to the sales assistants is a lot easier to determine what type of fabric you can use and what you need for a certain project. So I saw this fabric on Draper's uh, and I thought it was really cool and it was on discount and now I understand why it was on discount. <laughs> So here it is. It may look really cool right now, but is it? In, it's a very open weave. So I'm not sure how this is going to go in the machine. It is a single linen gauze fabric. Uh, normally you work with double gauze, which is not so bad, but single, I don't know how this is going to go. So. I feel like it should be fine, but it is very open weave. And I'm not even sure if the needles or threads will even, you know, work properly. So, I also got a lining fabric. This is a plain cotton lawn, which I got from Spotlight. My cat has decided to sleep on the uh, fabric, which is unhelpful to me. Please stop. <sighs> okay, um, I just have to push her off. Um, but yes, I've got that fabric, this lining fabric. I'm planning to base stitch the lining to this fabric for the bodice. And uh, hopefully that works with stabilizing it and making the shearing or shearing work. So I'm just going to give these a press. And then, um, yes, wish me luck in my adventure to make a shirred, shirred dress. All nice and pressed. <laughs> she looks so sad. Anyway, so I have just pressed, so I've pressed all my fabric. I wasn't really sure about pressing that uh, gauze fabric, but it turned out good when pressed, so I'm sure it should be fine. Uh, so I've decided to try my hand at doing a shirred, sheared uh, dress uh, based on the one that Madison Macquarie has made. She's a YouTuber that I recently discovered and she had a really good tutorial on how to make a shirred dress with sleeves. So. I've written down a whole bunch of notes, if you can see. I don't really know how I'm going to draft this, but I'm just going to wing it, I would say, especially around the um, armhole, arm dip area. Uh, yeah, let's just start working on it and see where we get up to. So the first thing I did was I measured my bust and then I measured my arms to find out what length of sleeve I wanted. And then from there I measured my waist down so that I could get a midi length dress. And I also measured the length between um, the top of my bust to my waist to figure out the length of the bodice. Okay, so I've managed to draft what I think is the bodice and then the sleeve. So... The bodice measurement is bust times 1.5, which is 90 times 1.5 equals 135 divided by 2. So that is the bodice measurement on the full. But I wanted to draft it on a fold, so I needed to then divide that by another 2, which I got 33.75. So that's the width of the bodice measurement. I tried to do some sort of sleeve thing here I don't know how good that is uh, I just kind of freehanded it and I also did the same for the sleeve so that's going to be on the fold as well and it's going to be a three-quarter length sleeve so I'm gonna 
just go ahead and try to cut it out of the material. And then for the skirt, I'll just use the width of this material and cut two on a fold and it'll be midi length. So I'm thinking, what did I put down here? I'm thinking midi length, 79 centimeters in length. I don't even know which side is the right and wrong side of this fabric. It looks exactly the same. Um, okay. Um, right. I just have to remember which side I pick as the right side because... Yeah. Okay. Good morning again. It is another day. I spent last night just cutting out all my pieces and stuff and finalizing my pattern pieces. Um, and then I also tested the shearing method on a piece of fabric. So I'm going to be layering two pieces of fabric together, obviously, because this is very see-through, so I need a lining fabric. So I tested out the shearing. Shearing. I need to learn how to say this word. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but anyway, you get what I mean. I've tested this out. And it seems to be working. I'm so excited. It actually, yeah, it's not so bad. So I wound up like seven bobbins over here. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's one in the machine. Uh, all ready to go. So I'm super excited to start this project now um, that I've cut everything out. I think it should be okay considering this seems to have worked and you can't really see I think the color of the, f the thread that I used is close enough hmm. maybe I should use a different one like a white thread because I thought that this colored thread would work well but now that I'm looking at it with the white I'm like oh maybe the white is better for this hmm. I can't tell. Alright, just um I'm gonna spend hours now just trying to figure out which one I want. Okay, yep, I'm gonna go with this uh sort of creamy colour instead because it's more I don't know, in line with all the other browny creamy colours on this, and this white is a little bit too white, so that's solved. And so now the first thing that I wanna do is I need to surge all of my raw edges because I don't want to do it later. So I might as well get all my pieces, search them all, get them all ready, and then I should be good to start putting things together and then I get to share, share, share for um, five or so hours. Madison in her tutorial said that she spent like five hours just sharing the bodice. So I'm like, mm. so I'm prepared for doing that. I'm also, Rewatching, or sort of rewatching Twilight. Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know, because it's easier to sew and vaguely watch something that's kind of dumb in the background, so I don't really have to pay like full attention to it. Oh my god, my cat has seen like another cat across the street. She's like freaking out. Her tail is like bashing against the window and now, you can hear it. What are you doing, Gigi? Did you see a friend? Oh, okay. Okay, so she decided to sleep on the scraps. Well, anyway, so I have just realized that I did not, <laughs> like this is going to be a lined dress, so I need to first pin together all the areas that are going to be lined and then from there I can serge the outsides because it makes no sense to serge them all separately so I'm just gonna pin them pin the front layer to the lining layer of the bodice pieces sew them together um, with a base stitch and then I'm going to serge them uh, and I don't need to do the same for the skirt because I don't want it to be attached I need them to be two flowing layers so yeah I'm just going to do this for the bodice and then I can serge them so if you can see I've gone and pinned together the lining to 
the bodice and I'm doing the same for this one. So the sleeve is like this, so I'm going to sew down the side seams together and then press them open, so I'm going to do that on the sleeves. And then for the skirt panels, I'm just going to sew them, all the panels together to make one massive long uh, loop, I guess, both on the lining and on the main fabric. So this together and then this main fabric together and then after that I'm going to sew the side seams of the bodice together and then then they're all ready and I will start shearing the bodice. So let's just sew all the seams together first to get it started. Okay, so I've sewed all the side seams. I haven't sewn the sleeve because, well, on the skirts, um, I was using the salvage edge to sew it together. And it seemed to work fine because there was more to grip onto. But with this side seam for the sleeve, it is just 100% open weave stuff. And so I am, at the moment, not prepared to find out if that will work. I feel like I may need to put some fusing on this, these side seams and then sew it together and hopefully it will give it more stability. I'm just a bit wary of like sewing it together by itself because it may not be enough fabric. I don't know. I'll, I'll try it later. But right now I'm going to sew together the side seams of the bodice. So I've Put them both together and I'm sewing these down and then after that I'm gonna start shearing it and it's gonna be fun and it's gonna take me a while so I'm gonna do that so exciting okay so I just sewed the side seams of the bodice but I also tested out um, just sewing uh, together two bits of this plain fabric and it seems to be working like it's not <laughs> breaking or anything. Uh, it went through the machine fine. I think it's good. I think I should be okay. Hmm. Oh, what do you know? Single gauze fabric. Not bad. Doesn't seem to be having an issue at all. Yay! I'm so excited. Right. Um, shearing time. Shearing. Shearing time. That it is now shearing, shearing time. So I had to hand wind these because they're not meant to be super tight. And I think I did it right because my test one went well so I'm just gonna make sure that it's seems to be moving, I think. Okay, so I've put in my thread and I've changed my stitch length to the longest stitch length and now I'm gonna try. Wish me luck! Hello friends! It is another weekend. So this is how far I've got with the bodice. Not far! So <laughs> this took me like three hours to do this and like the front and back a little. 
because my machine is a little bit um, not so good and it keeps stopping randomly or jerking and then it'll stop and be like bah. the impact of it stopping randomly will snap the top thread and then I have to rethread it and then I have to find where I was um, in the placement and this is pretty hard and also <laughs> I'm kind of dumb and I didn't uh, mark all the lines on this to make it even so as you can see all these lines are super uneven like real real bad real bad so but the good news is that on the front side you can't even tell Wee. so I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing until I uh, finish this shirring shirring of this bodice so I just need a, a little bit more and then at some point I'll be able to just do a continuous loop all the way around because at the moment I'm just doing the top bits until I get to the end of this um, armhole area and then once I get there I can just keep going around instead of like doing a bit of the back then doing a bit of the front so it's going to take a while but yeah this is where I'm up to so I'm actually really pleased that it's working to be honest because I've um, never done this before and I'm like so excited I'm like yay look look how stretchy it is it's so amazing I think it'll be really cute so I left like two centimeters so I hemmed the top like I surged and then I hemmed the top um, and so I left like two centimeters so that it would have a little frill at the top when it's all stretched out I don't know how much you'd be able to see it but just imagine it like this. Uh, yeah. It's like a little lettuce leaf looking thing. So, gonna keep going. Super excited. In the background, I'm watching Veronica Mars again because I've seen it and I, it's pretty good. Like I, can't, I, like, I remember how much I used to like it and I hadn't seen it in such a long time and now I'm watching it again and it's still really good, so ever you need to watch something new that you haven't seen before. Veronica Mars is still good. Alright, back to sewing. Right now, but leave us a message and we'll call you back. Wallace is a friend of mine. Take that high school. Ah, I'm so happy that it works. I'm gonna start putting elastic on everything. It's gonna be great. So I'm going to, let me just grab it. Ugh, all of this. So I need to attach my lining, skirt lining to the main fabric. And then once I've attached that, I will run two lines of basting stitch across the top and then gather it all up so that I can attach it to the bodice. Ah, oh, so excited. It's like actually a pretty nice warm day today, although the weather's starting to turn. So this linen dress will be really nice to wear during the hot days because I'm wearing, like I keep wearing this dress over and over again, um, the wilder gown by Friday Pattern Company. But this is like a poly crepe. Yes, poly crepe and a little bit a little bit sweaty in it at the moment. So, I'm looking forward to when I can wear this linen dress so that I'm sweaty but cool as opposed to sweaty and clammy right now. Alright, so now that I've gathered it up, I need to put the bodice and the skirt together. So this is inside out, so right side's facing. I'm just going to shove this inside and put this together. So it's a little bit tricky because hmm, this should stretch out as much as I need it to. So hopefully I've gathered it to the right amount. But let's just pin it all together and see.
hello another day another tackling of this project so I didn't get very far yesterday trying to put in this skirt piece I like pinned it together as evenly as I could I started sewing and then of course I don't know if you can tell but there are a lot of like random lines everywhere it's because I did not sew it properly where some of it got bunched up underneath and uh, got sewn in so then I had to unpick everything or else it would have been extremely ugly on the front side so now I'm doing it again there's like so many threads um yeah so hopefully I can get the skirt in today and then the last part of it will be to do the sleeves and then hemming so we're on track I think to finish this today but I just need to be real careful when sewing in this skirt I always have a have a bit of a struggle with gathering skirts and then sewing them in because I always like end up bunching up the underside by accident and then um, yeah just sewing it badly so <sighs> I feel like there's um, especially I feel like this gathering right now is not even like there's parts of it that are pretty loosely gathered and there are parts of it which are very gathered so I need to like spend some time trying to even it out or else it's gonna be look it's gonna look real weird um, flipping it out the right ways so yes let's spend some time doing that oh my gosh it took me forever but I finally put the skirt in oh basically I had to dig my hand in and just kind of like pull it apart while I was sewing real slowly or else it would have bunched up weird look oh it's so cute so stretchy stretchy and then just imagine sleeves so there's a bit of like uh, non elastics here so I'm just gonna have to sew a couple of more lines of elastic to um, even it out but yeah generally it's looking pretty good I'm so excited like first time sharing 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 um, and it's going pretty well I mean it is extremely wonky and lopsided but okay sleeve time so let's put some sleeves together so this is a sleeve panel first I need to fold it together right sides facing and sew down the side seams and then after that we're going to pin this to the sleeve opening of the bodice and insert a little channel for the elastic but first let's sew down these side seams okay so I've sewn together the side seams of the sleeves and now we need to fold this down like so around the top to make a channel this part will attach to the sleeve but we'll fold this down to make a channel so that that can be where the elastic gets like threaded through so that it sits on your shoulder nice Uh, so now that I've pressed the top of the sleeve down by about one centimeter, I'm just going to sew all the way around so I can create a channel for the elastic to go through. So the channel for the elastic has now been put in place and we're going to attach this rounded bit to the armhole rounded bit of the bodice. So stick this right ways out. The right side's facing, just attach the sleeve. So making sure to line up the arm side seam and the bodice side seam together. So when it gets to this part here where the channel is, we need to insert the elastic. So I just need to kind of measure how much elastic I need for my arm. That makes sense. So basically I'm just trying to measure like from my bust around my shoulder to my back um, and just kind of vaguely find out what the length should be. So I'm just going to stop there. Uh, it's about 52 centimeters. 
So I'm just going to cut a piece of elastic that is 52 centimeters long, uh, thread it through, and then we'll just readjust. Okay, so I've pinned all of the armhole together, and now I'm going to thread through this elastic from one end of the shoulder to the other, and we'll see how it's looking. So just safety pin, like pin one securely to one end and then another safety pin at the other end and just like thread it through. I have to be super careful with this one because the material I'm using is so loose that I'm scared that if, if the safety pin opens itself, which sometimes it does do that, then it'll just wreck all the fabric. So I'm just going to go slowly through. And then once it's through, you sort of just want to pin it into place so that could be sewn down to the side seam of the armhole. Uh, I'm just going to try and try this on to make sure that this is enough length for the elastic because I feel like I made it too long so it's a little bit loose. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far when I pinned it in. It is stabbing me right now in the arms. Uh, but I think this amount of elastic or this length is good. Like it's not uncomfortable or anything. So, yep, I'm just gonna go with this. I might maybe relax it a little bit because it is a little bit tight. Hmm. Yeah, it's looking pretty cute. Chala, obviously I need to work on this and put more lines of elastic or shearing in here because it's looking a little bit gross. But yeah, it's coming along. So I went ahead and threaded through the elastic on the other shoulder of the sleeve, secured the elastic in place and sewed the sleeve and armhole of the bodice together. After that I press the sleeve hem up to create my balloon sleeves. So I've pressed it up by about one and a half centimeters and I'm just going to sew all the way around and stop with leaving a gap so that we can thread the elastic through and then after that's done seal it up. This is a three quarter length sleeve so I measured the length of the elastic I would need to cut by just wrapping it around my forearm. and then threaded the elastic through the sleeve hem, secured it in place and sealed up the opening. And then the only thing left to do was hem the bottom of the skirt. Oh my gosh, it's done. <gasps> yes! So I just hemmed up the sleeves, made it a little sort of balloon sleeve going on. And then I just hem the bottom. It's uh, a little bit uneven, as you can see, that part here is a bit lower than the rest of it. Uh, but I kind of like it a little bit uneven. And here it's a little bit higher, so you can see the um, lining. I don't know what I was doing when, when I was cutting, to be honest. It's, yeah, just all wrong. Um, also, I still kind of need to work on this part is a little bit bunchy and gross, but yeah. Ta-da! Okay, so this is what it looks like on. I am so happy. <laughs> like this is a super comfy dress. Granted, I did do uh, some messy work here on the shearing, but it is good. This fit is super comfy like uh, lots of room to like eat it's great I love this I love sharing I'm gonna share everything I have like actually some more linen to do it on uh, this project but yeah this is really cute so normally from the designs I've seen before 
where you like DIY your own like summer dress with shearing. Um, normally the designs are always really like just straight, like a straight boxy thing. And then you kind of attach sleeves and it's a bit awkward. But this design by um, Madison is really cool because it has like, you know, little armholes here, which make it a lot um, more comfy. Like see how this, I mean, obviously like you have to try it yourself, but this movement here is good. This is good movement. Whereas when it is uh, straight across with no armholes and you kind of just attach the straps, it sort of um, just doesn't sit properly and you feel like it's kind of like the sleeves don't hold and they just kind of keep popping down. So the fact that it has armholes is like super comfy. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just saying like this particular design with the armholes is good. It's a good thing. Uh, yeah, this is great. I'm thinking like, obviously like looking back on this now, this here is like, it's sort of a little bit too far in. So if I was to redesign my bodice, I would make it so that the curve wasn't so far inwards, it would be like out here. So when you're drawing the arm curve, just, you know, I measured from the bust down to this part here, underneath the arm to see, you know, how much you wanted it to dip by. Mine was like 12 centimeters from the top of the bust down to here. This is great. I'm very surprised that I managed to do this and with this particular material as well like it's so breezy because it is a linen gauze so it has you know just because I've got sleeves doesn't mean it's like warm or anything because there's no lining in this sleeve it's just the linen gauze by itself yeah this is great I strongly encourage you to also do this I'm going to make more shared things. So yeah, this front and back is exactly the same. Um, the only difference between mine and Madison's is that she did a little, a little ruffle at the end here instead. I just put elastic uh, casing and also she should, she didn't leave a gap here. She kind of like sheared the whole thing. So it was like flat or as I left two centimeters worth of this so it's got a like a little lettuce sort of ruffle detail here also i used only one two three four five bobbin full of elastic thread i thought that this particular design would require a lot of elastic but one spool of elastic thread seems to work fine so you know here's an example that's just one of these this one's a sullivan's but yeah any shearing elastic should be fine just one of these should be good enough this one is 30 meters yeah so i only end up using five bobbin bobbins worth of shearing elastic this is going to be a really fun summer dress just imagine me in this dress with hat in the summer heat, obviously, because we are in ISO life, I will also be wearing a mask. Should I make a matching mask? Maybe. Anyway, I hope this has been exciting for you to watch or inspires you to also make this dress or a version of this dress. And if you like my videos and you would like to see more of my sewing adventures, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.